Okay, this is the Valachi Papers. Very good book. Alright, highly recommend. I made several notes in here about things that I found interesting. The particular pages that uh, they had some great information about how uh, the Mafia operates. And this is information that they extracted in 68. So, it's old stuff um, that they what it was considered revolu it was considered really revealing back then whereas now we're we're uh we got people who write stories about it like with the uh, sopranos and all that we look back at it as such an old time now that it just almost seemed like it was common knowledge but back then back when they first discovered this information it was very revealing. They only had spotty information about the underground um, dealings. And what Joe Valachi did was a uh, uh, really um, e extensive uh, work with the Mafia. He killed 30 people. He was in the gambling business. He was in the loan sharking business. He, uh, he tried to go legitimate by buying restaurants and stuff that eventually failed because of his criminal record, he couldn't get licenses for alcohol or even for the restaurant, so he had to eventually sell. And then, then he, um, then his criminal record caught up with him uh, because the government really started increasing efforts in cracking down on the mafia. He got put in jail and uh, prison, and um, and from prison, um, his uh, mafia buddies tried to kill him. And he realized that uh, it didn't make no difference whether he was alive or not. He decided to start talking about his life in the Mafia and talk about the Cosa Nostra, Costa Notra, whatever. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty much titled, it comes down to this thing of ours. They referred to themselves as that. It was theirs. It wasn't yours, it was theirs. It was ours. Because that's the the, um, the the basic culture of the Italians. They tend to keep together. They're clannish. They'll clan. They they operate like clans together, and uh, that's how they made the mafia so successful. There were mafias before them, and I wrote a little in my WordPress. I copied a lot actually, uh, the history. But you can also find it on Wikipedia, different differently worded, on the history of mafias. A little bit on how uh, other cultures have tried it, other races have tried it, like the Italians and uh, the Germans, whatever, and uh, the Jews, and they they didn't do such a good job because they just didn't have the clan uh, mentality like the Italians. Um, unfortunately, these these Italians were picking on a lot of each other more so than other races and other groups. And they were killing each other to try to get to the top. Um, Velacci didn't really seem to do that. Uh, he didn't try try to go for the power as much. He was just minding his own business, um, keeping low. He sounded like he always had a lieutenant throughout his whole um, career, his 30 years of in the mafia. He he always had that the lieutenant above him. He needed permission to ask uh, to do things. He would just stick with his, um, you could say, middle class uh, dealings with uh, numbers running and the loan sharking, which which is really interesting. He goes into a lot of great detail about his loan sharking and and his gambling stuff that he was doing. You find out that you know you could just pick three numbers and and then you had a one in a thousand chance, but the payout was only one in six hundred. He, so, so you know the, the the people who ran the gambling circuits had to take their cut. So you're not going to get, you know, out of the one one out of one thousand chance, you're not going to get the full amount. There's people that take skim off the top there. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of names mentioned, um, a lot of a lot of uh, inside stuff uh, brought out. That's that's really revealing. Um, so that's. That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's it.